Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your special guest host, Richard and Joyce Hamp. Good evening and welcome into the Hour of Harvest. We hope you all are ready to settle back in your easy chair, your hospital bed, wherever you are, jail, wherever. We welcome you in to their service tonight. And we think you'll get a blessing if you'll just sit back and let the Lord move in your life. And that's the important, most important thing is we have telephone operators upstairs and they'll help lead you to the Lord if you feel that need to accept the Lord into your life. And you'll know when he's dealing with you. And uh, so they'll be glad to help you with that. They'll also take your prayer request or just listen to you. Whatever you need, they are willing to do for help you with. So right now we're going to let Richard uh, do the scripture reading and things for you. So just get ready, sit back, and get ready to enjoy the program tonight. Okay, I'm going to be reading out of the book of Daniel tonight, the third chapter. It's a familiar story. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, he'd made a golden image, and it made a decree that every, when they th- heard the sound of music, everybody was to bow down and worship that golden image. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they, they refused to do that. And whoever refused to do that were cast into the fiery furnace. So we're going to start with a 16th verse here, where they were brought up before King Nebuchadnezzar. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, their hats, and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the fiery, burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king commanded, man was urgent, and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the fiery, burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto the counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like unto the Son of God. You know, I love this little story. They, they refused to, to bow down and obey the, the king. They stood on their most holy faith that God was able to deliver them from whatever the king may want to do to them. But they said, you know, if, it, if he don't deliver us, it's still all right. They knew that he could, but they didn't know if it was in his will too. And you know, that's the way we got to face life. We know God can, but we don't always know that he will. But we have to have faith that whatever he does, it will be good. And no king, you know, I got a kick out of that. He looked in there and and saw four men walking in the fire, loose and unhurt. God don't always take us out of the fire. Sometimes he gets right in there and walks with us and delivers us through what we're facing. 
too often we give up on our uh, trials and tribulations thinking God is not with us, but he made a promise to it. He'd never leave us nor forsake us. So we know that he's there if our, by faith we would just let him do what he does best. But I know if you read on in this story, they said they came out of the fiery furnace and not, didn't even have the smell of smoke upon them. Now that's power that God has. And you know, he's still the same God today. He says it changes not. What he did for those boys, he'll do for us. He, he'll deliver us one way or another, whichever his plan is, uh, when it comes that time. But we need to be like the uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, oh, King, we know that can't, can't, God is able. But if he's not, we're still not going to bow down to your idols. That's what the world would like us to do today, was bow down to their idols. And, and, and the world is full of idols. People's got idols made out of everything. But there's only one true God that we need to be worshiping today and bowing down to. And that, not the things of this world, but the God of heaven. That's the one we need to bow down to today. And like Joe said, if you don't know him today in the free pardon or mission of sin, there'd be no better time than tonight to call upon that name and be saved and changed from the way you are now into a, a person that's ready to go to heaven when you leave this world. It's the only chance you're going to have. God gave you so many years here on this earth to make your preparations, and you better be making them because time's running out for this old world. We can see it every day all around us. It's run, get, time is getting short, and we need to be ready to go. And when he calls, you're going to go whether you're ready or not. So be ready tonight. Make him your the Lord and Savior of your life so that you can go to heaven when it comes time for you to leave this old world. We want you to enjoy the program tonight and things, and uh, we'll have a word of prayer here, and Joyce will introduce the group, and then we're going to turn them loose and let them sing for you until uh, they run out of breath tonight. So let's have a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight as humble as we know how, giving you honor, praise, and glory for another day of life that you've given unto us, another opportunity we've had to come here to Beattyville to send out the word over the airways, and then music and spoken word. And Lord, we know that you're still God. You're still there for us. You'll be with us. Even when this world is gone, you'll still be with us and helping us, Lord. So we thank you for your love, your mercy. You, you, you show up on us every day. And we expect you, Lord, to always keep your promises and help us when we fail to keep ours, Lord. We'll thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray, and amen. Okay. All right. Okay, tonight our guest is Buddy Johnson and Georgia Pearl Gabbard. The address is 3791 Highway 705 North, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. And the phone number for Buddy Johnson is 606-464-0717. And for Georgia Pearl, 606-464-8575. And their church affiliation is the Canyon Falls EC Church. So right now we'll go over and let the, the singers bless you tonight. Yeah. 
What a privilege, what an honor it is to be back up here and to minister the way of song, testimony, whatever. <clears throat> Good to be a Christian. Good to be a Christian. Amen. I am your brother Buddy, and this is my sister Georgia Pearl here. We're singing for Jesus. That's what we do. <laughs> we want everybody to, 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 to gather up around the TV, wherever, like, the, the lady said there to start with, whether you're in a nursing home or jail, wherever you might be, pull up a chair and let's worship the Lord together. Amen. Hallelujah. We're glad to have Sister Janice with us tonight, Janice Harvey. She's part of our church, Canyon Falls, EC Church up Canyon Falls. And uh, she's going to be a minister with us. Uh, so uh, we're going to turn it over to Sister Janice. For Jesus and let the world go by. I'll claim his promise, he will supply. I'll walk together, the Lord and I, and I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go in a world filled with troubles we're tempted and tried the more that we have here on this earth the less we're satisfied the only thing lasting comes from on high and i'll stand for jesus and let the world go by I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go by I'll claim his promise he will supply we'll walk together the Lord and I and I'll for Jesus and let the world go by and I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go by when it's time to depart this old body of mine I don't want to own one thing I can't leave behind I want to be free and walk with the Lord. I'll stand for Jesus when we depart. I don't want to own one thing I can't leave behind. I want to be free to sail through that's why I'm walking with Jesus and letting the world go by. And I'll stand for Jesus and let the world go by. What a song. <laughs> Boy, I think we all need to do that. Get straightened out here. Bear with us. <laughs> this next song here is the one that old song grown up with. But me and my sister Georgia Pearl never have sung it together until here in the last three or four days. It's a wonderful song, you know, and I think that uh, it's got an awesome meaning. I want to dedicate this song to Oddly, Oddly Gay over there in Boonville, or his wife. Mary Ann calls. Mary Ann, I know you've been sick, and we've been praying for you. The Lord's good. He, he brought you through this. Amen. 
I'm going to send it out to Maxine, too, Sister Maxine. My, my, my. What a great friend and sister she is. And Jimmy and Barbara Brandenburg, amen? We're going to send you out this song. If we never meet again, this side of heaven. If we never meet again, this side of heaven. As we struggle through this world and its strife. There's another waiting place somewhere in heaven. By the side of the She was taken in her sin and brought to Jesus' feet. He knew where she had been. She was as guilty as could be. But Jesus rode in the sand. Her accusers were all gone. She found the rock when she deserved a stone. She found the rock of ages, the rock that never changes. She found the rock she could build her life upon. When justice called for death, there was mercy.
praise the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to try you know in here about our mothers. Memories of mother. Dennis Scabbard, I know you're watching. We're going to send this out to you, Dennis. On a dark stormy night.
six hairs on the cross. Our Savior was dying. Six hairs on the cross. Oh, what a sad time. Oh, my God, my God. Why am I forsaken? Six hairs on the cross, your Savior and mine. So tired and so weary, but he could not lay down while carrying his cross. He fell to the ground. Oh, sinners, wake up and give up your pride. Six hairs on the cross. He hung there and died. Six hairs on the cross. My Savior hung down. Six hairs on the cross. Oh, what a sad time. Oh, my God, my God. Why am I forsaken? Six hairs on the cross. Your Savior and mine. What a song. We hope you're enjoying these old songs out there tonight. Again, boys, Trey, it's good to be a Christian. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good to know that our names are written in the book of life. One of these days, you know, we're going to stand before our Maker. Hallelujah. If you're out there tonight and don't know Jesus, my, 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 the old song says, what a day that'd be. You know, if you would, uh, if you would just uh, bow your head and humble yourself and Ask the Lord to come into your life. You know, salvation's free. And I think this is one of the biggest biggest lies of the devil that he, he puts on people, especially people that don't know Jesus. They think they can't be good enough to live for the Lord. And You know, the devil will never tell you what God will do for you. If you're out there tonight and don't know Jesus, I just pray. If you feel that little nudge on your heart tonight, I just pray that you would humble yourselves. Call the op phone operators up here. If you want somebody to pray for you, they'll lead you in a sinner's prayer. Boy, I tell you what, you might be lost and undone tonight, but boy, I tell you what, you could get saved. What, what a difference that'd make in your life. My, my, my. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to try one of these old-time favorites here, Sister Margaret. We're going to sing this one for you. This is one of your favorite songs I hear. And, and uh, Walter, Hester, Ellen, we're going to sing this for you. And uh, all of our church family, Larry and Tiny, we're going to sing this for you. Where the roses never fade. Amen. Where the roses never fade. I am going to a city where the streets of gold are laid. Where the tree of life is blue.
of all the wonders you've done, it brings me to my knees. And how you've always been there, Lord, every time I had a need. of that great sacrifice that you gave for me. I'm sure to believe that the Creator was hanging on a tree. It was a labor us from our sins, and without that great sacrifice, we would forever be lost. It was a labor of love, God's only Son, hanging on a cross. must have hurt him when they placed them on his head. And as his spear was thrust into his side and his blood spilled to the ground, I'm sure he remembered we were the reason he could not come down. a labor of love no greater ever known by man he willingly gave his life to save us from our sins and without that great sadness would forever be lost. What a labor of love, God's only son, hanging from a cross. What a labor of love, God's only son, hanging from a cross. song. This is an old time favorite song. You're Tootie, Tootie Banks. We're going to sing this for you. I also want to sing it for George's family, Susan and Bethany, her two sons, their families. What a day that'll be. Amen. There is come. Sickness, no pain, no more fire. 
Send that out to George and Charlotte, too. George and Charlotte. I've messed up a lot tonight, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I went walking down a long, lonely road. I thought I had no one just to share my heavy load. Then I turned with soaring back to a place I've never been. And I realized I was standing at the foot of my king. There were three lonely crosses on a hillside that day. this be that your beloved son gave his life just for me well, I heard a sweet voice whisper child lift up your head for the one that you see hanging there
Jesus came from the grave and he won the victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I tell you. We pray that we've been a blessing to you tonight. My, 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 my. If you're out there lost and undone, you still got time to call. Amen. Phone operators up there. My, my, my. They'd like to pray with you. I know the Lord would like to, like to, uh, for you to give your life to Him tonight. Hallelujah. It's going to be our last song here, and we're going to send this out to. We want to send it out to Sonia and Bill. Uh, Sonia, I know you love this old song. Send it out to Merle, Holy Creech. And we probably left some more out there. But uh, we hope you all have enjoyed us tonight. Hope you, we've been a blessing to you. Amen. It's all about, all about Jesus now, brothers and sisters. All of our hopes in him. When I'm in the lowest valley, I can climb the highest hill. I don't want to do one thing on my own. Put me where you want me, Lord. mighty name of Jesus. God bless you out there tonight. God bless you. Okay, you all have been listening to Buddy Johnson and Georgia Pearl Gabbard. Phone number 606-464-0717. And we'll be reading the prayer request while Brother Buddy's getting over here with us. Tammy from Montgomery County has called in tonight for Stanley, her husband, and herself in Virginia. Stanley has back problems, she has stomach problems, and Virginia, her mother, has a lot of health issues. And Mary called in from Laurel County for Lyle, brain cancer, and uh, he has small children. Larry has had a stroke and got home three days ago. and. Uh, I'm not sure, Adrian had a stroke, and he's home now as well. And a nephew has four-stage lung cancer, and Mike, well, Mike may be the nephew. He's 50 years old. 
Jerry from Fayette called in, has a friend in the hospital, friend is David. Uh, Brenda called in for our brother-in-law from Lee County with kidney problems. Terry called in for himself and his family from Menifee County with health issues. Phyllis called in for herself and Mickey from Laurel County. They have health problems. Also, Rick, Russell, Kathy, Sue, Michael, Eleonora, and Renee need prayers. A grandson called in from Fayette County. He's losing his hearing. Hattie called in for Goldie and Earl from Montgomery with health issues. Hattie, Jimmy, Laura May, and Charlie need prayer. A lady called in for herself and her son-in-law from Whitley County needing prayer. Shirley from Floyd County called in. She has a virus. Uh, Ruby called in from Pound, Virginia for her great-grandson. He has floating eye and a daughter has surgery on Wednesday. Mary from Knox County has health problems. And Peggy from Breathitt County called in, needs prayer for a friend that's sick, that needs healing and needs help on his job. Richard? Okay. From Madison County, Rebecca called in for Gable. Uh, Rebecca has an unspoken request. Fayette County, a man called in for prayer. From Montgomery County, Virginia called in for prayer. Had x-rays done today and uh, praying for a good report. Madison County, Thelma called in, pray for her children, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. <laughs> Amen. Russell County, Patricia called in. Sister had multiple strokes and is in a Danville hospital. And their friend Charlie Cameron has three aneurysms. Wow. Asley County, Charlotte called in, a prayer request for her mother, has a mass on her lungs, oldest son and family, and a new grandbaby need, all need prayer. Tennessee, Helen called in for Dunn uh, from Wayne, Indiana. So Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne, Indiana. So, and uh, she lives in Tennessee, and uh, she's had a stroke, she's bad. It says a lot of people in Tennessee love Sister Margaret. Clay said, he, Tony called in, stomach hurt bad, and he also had a praise report. God touched his shoulder, and it's much better. From Knox County, Jimmy called in for J Nanny and Jimmy. They're in the Knox County nursing home. And they know the Lord and ready to go home. That's the best thing Amen. that could be, no matter where you're at. Clark County, Raymond called in for prayer, has eye problems, and he's diabetic. Mercer County, a lady called in. She's enjoying the singing. Montgomery County, Eddie called in for prayer. Prairie, your mother called in for the Campbell, Campbell family and the North family. Uh, health problems, son, grandson needs a miracle. Lee County, Brenda called in for her niece. Leslie County, Edna called in, pray for grandbabies, and pray for her also, watches WLJC every night. Wayne County, Marilyn called in, pray for kids and grandkids, and she has health problems. And here's just a prayer request, pray for her son, pray for her mom, and pray for her pastor. Casey County, Glenda called in, pray for her husband, Randy. That's, that's all of it. And I have another prayer request. Michael Barnes has messaged me at home several times. He's in the Hazard Nursing Home. A young man, he's very sick and he needs prayer. And uh, he also knows the Lord. So he knows where he's going when the Lord calls him home. And, you know, you can be the same way. You can know, get to know the Lord, and you'll know where you're going when you leave this world. Just go ahead and lead us there, and then we'll talk. All right. We're going to pray here. We'll just all come together and pray the prayer of agreement over these quests. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, uh, we come humbly before you. Lord, you're the great physician, the great doctor, the one that healeth all of our sicknesses and diseases. You're a wonderful God. You're a good God, Lord. How can we ever thank you enough for Calvary for it? And for that beating post, Lord, we know that what you willingly allowed them to do you that, to you that, that day was all for us. And it's all for these prayer requests here too, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
So, Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We worship you, Lord, from the depths of our heart. We thank you for the good word of God, Lord. We know the good word of God is true. It cannot lie. According to the word of God, what you've done there, Lord Jesus, to that beating post and at that tree, Lord, is for our physical healings, too. Not only for our salvation, but physical needs, too. So, Lord, we agree with you. We agree with the word of God. As we've anointed these in obedience to your great word, Believing and trusting in you, Lord, that you'll move on these. So we pray, we agree, Lord, that you can do this, and we believe you will do this. For we ask asking you to, Lord, in the precious name, the precious name of Jesus. All of our hope is in you, Lord. Oh, my, let that go deep into the hearts of the hurting folk out there tonight. Jesus loves you out there. In Jesus' name, we love you, Father. Receive our praise, receive our worship. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now tell us what's up going on at church. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus up there every night good day at Canyon Falls. Can we we uh, good to, good to be there. I've been there at Canyon Falls about ten years, I guess now. Maybe 11, 10, 11 years. I forget how long I have been there. But the Lord's good to us, and he is there. We'd like to invite you up there to visit us. If you've not got a home church or something other, we'd just love to have you come up there and worship with us on Sunday morning. Sunday school starts at 10, uh, church service at 11. My, my, we believe you'd be tremendously blessed. Amen. That it's good to be a Christian, good to be back up, up, up here on the hill. On this little holy mountain, you know, God's up here. Amen. My, 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 how you feel the presence of the Lord up here at this place. I respect that, and I thank God for that. Pray for Sister Margaret. Thank, pray for this ministry out there. My, 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 you know, we've all got an old enemy that fights us, and I'm sure he fights Sister Margaret and stuff, but it's a good thing he's a defeated foe. Amen? Amen. <laughs> but pray for Sister Margaret and her work here. I do pray that that you will pray that in Jesus' name. Again, it's good to be back up here on the mountain. Okay, Josh, you've got one minute. <laughs> they all accuse me of talking a lot, but I, really I don't. <laughs> you've listened, as I said before, to Buddy Johnson and Georgia Pearl Gabbard. They're at 3791 Highway 705, 708, 708, 708. North, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Phone number 606-464-0717. You'll be talking with Buddy Gabbard or Georgia Pearl at 606-464-8575. And their church is the Canyon Falls EC Church. And we know you all have enjoyed them tonight. We've enjoyed being here with them tonight. This is the second time we've got to meet them and be with them, and we've enjoyed it both times. But from here in Beattyville, Kentucky, we want to say good night and may God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311 or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.